Hello, I'm Professor Von Schmohawk, and welcome to Why You. In the first lecture, we explored the origins of the first number systems. We also saw how the people on my primitive island of Coco Loco first learned about the decimal number system. Once the Coco Loconians discovered decimal numbers, we could do much more than count coconuts. We could do arithmetic calculations with coconuts. The first arithmetic operations we invented were addition and subtraction, which came in very handy when dealing with coconuts. For instance, if you have three coconuts, and then your neighbor gives you five more, you will have eight coconuts. Interestingly, if you start out with five coconuts, and then your neighbor gives you three more. You will also have eight coconuts. For some reason, five plus three gives you the same answer as three plus five. Eventually, we figured out that it doesn't matter in which order you acquire your coconuts; you still end up with the same number of coconuts. Since the two numbers on either side of the addition symbol can switch positions without changing the answer, we say that they commute. Since commute means to travel back and forth, mathematical operations in which the numbers operated on can be switched without affecting the result are said to be commutative. This illustrates what the Cocoliconians call the commutative property of addition of coconuts. Apparently, this property applies to adding anything. So we will just call it the commutative property of addition. So addition is a commutative operation. 